So, not that long ago, I'd never heard of Sir Optimists, but I was looking for a, a new way of getting involved in my community and of meeting new women. So one day I saw a leaflet about a new club in my area. It sounded interesting. I went along and was made to feel very welcome. It was great to meet interesting women with different skills and experiences from my own. But I'm a doer, and making a difference is what motivates me. So soon I signed up for my first project, and then I took a lead in another project, and more followed. Turns out to be a great way of making friends, too. Since being a optimist, I've had lots of opportunities to learn new skills, as well as making new friends. It's been great to be part of a club which, in our own small way, I think really has made a difference in our local community. It's been so rewarding and lots of fun. So now I'm proud to be part of an organisation of women determined to stand up for other women, and I'd recommend it to anyone else who wants to do the same. I was told I had to join a Soroptimus club. That was my introduction to Soroptimism. This was a perfect way in which to give back to society and use my corporate experience in quite different and rewarding ways. I was in. In 2009, the club elected me president just in time to celebrate our 50th year. I have also served at a regional level as development officer. I visited every club in the region and supported them in their efforts to realise their full potential as a club. The mix of local, national and international projects which are at the heart of our programme action intrigued and inspired me. To the point that in 2010 I ran the Brighton Marathon with a fellow Sir Optimist and raised nearly £4,000, which went towards Project Sierra, supporting highly vulnerable children to ensure they were given the basics to gain a stable, safe family life and financial security. At a local level, I love talking with people at events and I'm so proud of what we do and what we have accomplished, for example, with my time for young carers and raising funds for three domestic abuse charities. Above all, the friends I have made and the personal support I have received, as well as the sum of achieving so much for women and girls, remains an enormous inspiration. A Sir Optimist for almost 30 years, I was introduced by a member at number 63, the Sir Optimist Residential Club in London. Just what I was looking for, making a difference to the lives of women and girls. Being on committee after joining my first club, I soon had roles of responsibility at club and region level, giving me great personal confidence and boosting self-esteem. As a global organisation, it's easy to meet with members anywhere. Wherever you are in the world, you can be sure of a friendly Sir Optimist welcome and members willing to meet up with you and discuss projects. I was also excited to be part of the United Nations Sir Optimist delegation to the Commission for the Status of Women at the UN in New York, an awe-inspiring sight with some 8,000 women campaigning for women's rights. Being a Sir Optimist offers great fulfilment. You can take from it and give to it as much as you're willing or capable of. There are no expectations and you have a team of friendly supporters who guide you through all the steps you wish to take. I would recommend joining Sir Optimist International to anyone wanting to make a difference in today's world. <laughs>